Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Winters and I recently got some new terrain from a company called foreground.co.uk. It came in a box like this. Nice box, but it was really heavy. 9, 10 kilos worth of heaviness. And the reason why it's so heavy is because this is MDF. This is laser cut computer aided design MDF. So you can see all the cuts and uh, yeah, the laser burns its way through the wood, the MDF, and um, makes beautiful shapes. And you stick together the beautiful shapes and they look like that, or like that, or like that, or like this. Look, I've already stuck some together. This is a nice set of stairs. Now I'm part way through making this piece, this industrial support frame. It's looking like that. It's coming together quite nicely. You um, basically push out the pieces from these templates. So here's, here's some I did earlier. Pushing out lots and lots of pieces from the templates. Follow the destructions on here on how to stick it together and you end up making something that looks a bit like that and this thing these pieces can be added together so when it's done there's another bit this bit I haven't done that bit that bit goes on top and then you can put that there or that there and uh, uh, multiply the size of your industrial terrain areas so when I've got all of this shenanigans done I should have a fair chunk of new scenery coming to the channel, coming to battle reports very soon. Right, one of the things I was surprised to find was uh, these sets come with magnets in them and the idea is you put a magnet on that bit, a magnet on this bit and then clip, they can clip together. So when you uh, build the different pieces of your train sets, um, if there's magnets on them, then it will give them some solidity, Some they won't be as wobbly when you stick them. All together and so far it's been relatively straightforward I must admit I was a bit intimidated when I whacked it all out of the box but uh, it's been so far it's been just pop them out glue them together job done so foregrounduk.co.uk make laser cut MDF templates and you can get buildings you can get this you can get that this is the industrial terrain set right you chuck foreground into Google it comes up with this page here click on that thing there and here we are this is what the foreground website looks like and as you can see they make lots of different types of terrain look a windmill all of this is MDF laser cut stuff that's that industrial support flight frame that I was showing you this is one of the kits that I was showing you In fact because I got a YouTube channel they sent me some more stuff as well um, Massive crossbow there, just to show me what more they could do. A Spitfire um, made of MDF that you can put together. So there's loads of different bits. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. But loads of different bits that you can get from this company. Okay, down the side, by the side, 28mm sci-fi. Go to Jezera 28 Jez. That's that name. I want to say Jezerai. Click on that. And here we go. This is the other, that's the extra kit that I haven't yet stuck together yet for this. And this is all the stuff that they sell. Um, I've got a container as well, that's the light system. Um, yeah, other types of structures. So Jezere train set from foreground. Okay, back to the board. Okay, here we are a couple of days later with most of the train that I received, the Jezere train set, set up and ready to go for a game of 40k. And it looks awesome. The game will be on the channel very shortly after I post this video, but uh, this is good stuff. So, magnetised areas. As you can see, this isn't just resting on there. That is held on there by a magnet. Um, simple as that. All of these bits bottom of that, top of that magnetized on, these lift structures yeah, magnetized on, see the magnet there, the magnet on the bottom to give them some solidity. These bits, these are separate bits that you can buy as well, magnet clips it on, um, the light clips on, everything clips on and this ends up being a rather solid piece of kit. Um, these are that's a different terrain pit. You can get corner pieces like this, which you can stick on. Here's some other struck different types of tops that you can put on these. Essentially, this Jezere train set, these ladders come um, uh, with some of these kits as well. Essentially, this revolves around 
magnets holding that on. Uh, essentially this revolves around these structures here, these, I don't know what to call them, there's a name on the website, revolves around these. And as you can see, they are all over the place. And so this is the core of your structure, magnets on the top, magnets on the bottom. And then you get the tops, different tops, different things like this to put them on there and stick them together like an item of Lego or Meccano, a giant piece of, it's just, I am so impressed by this. This is my first attempt at making a structure using this terrain set and this came together very quickly. Let your imagination run wild. Because of the magnets, these towers could go all the way up if I wanted to with a gangway, say three stories high, four stories high if I wanted to. It just depends on how many of these core bits that you get. Right, other things to note if you're gonna get this stuff is you're gonna want a couple of ladder kits, at least a couple of ladder kits or lift kits as egress into your facility, whatever you build. Um, let's look at some of the more modification features. These things come with uh, doors that can come off. These all come off. So you can have your um, walkways going in different directions. This is a separate piece of kit as well. All of these gantries are a different pack, so you're gonna to wanna to get a gantry pack. Like I said, there's another large piece of terrain, the largest bit yet, I haven't put together yet. And the large piece consists of five of these, and uh, the core center of the structure is blocked out. It becomes large line of sight blocking terrain. Um, but yeah, lots of different ways to stick this together, lots of different types of modifying it. I was gonna do a separate terrain tutorial talking about how to stick it together, but it's really simple, really straightforward, particularly if you're used to putting together GW kits, then this is so intuitive. Essentially all you need, a bit of PVA glue, stick that on a pallet, dip the brush in the pallet, and um, stick that on where you're putting the items together. So these railings, for example, dabbing PVA glue on the bottom, pushing them on top, dabbing it along there, pushing it on top. All these steps, you dab in the steps, push them into the structure all the way up, and that's it. You don't need to paint it, you don't need to do anything to it. These are transfers, again, a bit of PVA glue on the bottom, just stuck on on these hash tag transfers, which look really cool. Goes particularly well with this Battle Mac, which is from P Work Wargame Studio. It's under here. P Work Wargames, they're an Italian company, been around about 18 months at the time of filming. And um, it just made sense to stick the, these industrial ruins on this industrial battle mat with these hash tags on them as well. It just makes the piece pop, makes it sing. Um, so multiple different kits on here and I am very, very impressed. Looking forward to putting together some different structures and I'm so looking forward to having a battle on here tomorrow versus Liam from Morehammer. Morehammer YouTube channel, check it out. He's coming up tomorrow to bring his dirty Eldar. And I'm going to defend this installation with the Penitent Forge and try and repel Xenos threat. Honestly, it makes making battle reports very easy because the narrative just writes itself when you've got a battle map like this and awesome scenery that you can just put together like this. Um, don't mean to hyperbolize so much, but um, I've rarely been this impressed by bits of kit that I've uh, got my hands on. And this just brings out the creative side of me, the different ways you can go together, the different structures you can make. And I think I'll end up getting more of this stuff. Anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Happy Wargaming.